incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? A very specific question. One that speaks of a more personal motivation for asking. I can only to choose. You have a parasite of your own. <laughs> Curiosity without toil is like a broken viewing glass. Unfocused and incapable of insight. Let's see what knowledge your labors have borne so far. Tell me, what is your understanding of ceramorphosis? Well, whatever matter your skull contains, it clearly isn't cerebral in nature. Ceramorphosis is no threat to you. Now go. Continue your education elsewhere. You've delayed my work long enough. Must you keep bothering me? You must be desperate to seek my aid. Tell me, how long have you been infected? Fascinating. So you're conscious of your infection, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Zathisk. I will ensure you are cured. It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? It will be worth it, I assure you. Even Gith Yankee rarely experiences Zathisk. You are very lucky, Istik. The Zathisk. This unnatural device offers your best chance of purification. You feel your parasite stir. Do not fear. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zathisk for curing unwanted afflictions. More than ceramorphosis. <laughs> I don't like the look of this thing. Its cure could be a metal bolt punched through your skull. Your body grows cold. Its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Then, agony. Through waves of torment, you search for the parasite's lurking presence. The device searches too. You sense its hunger, its craving. It wants the tadpole, but maybe something more. That's it. Ignore the pain. Think of the tadpole. Think of it purged. It's too much. You can't take it. Get out of there now! The parasite burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks <laughs> greedily. You feel yourself ebbing away, while the parasite only grows stronger. 
It's evolving. back into focus. Your mind is intact, yet unfamiliar. Inside it, the tadpole lives on, and you feel different. No! No! The say disc! What have you done? My life's work! Gone! And yet you live! And so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, your problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. Incredible. Your parasite is even stronger now. Smoke rises like hot breath, but whatever semblance of life once powered the Zaethisk is gone. <laughs> 